kweli Yesu Kristo ndio mkweli ukijua alifanya nini kwa sababu yako ndugu yangu dadangu hutakuwa vile ulivyo tena utakuwa na akili mpya utakuwa na roho mpya maisha yako atakuwa tofauti hautapenda tena vitu vya dunia vile unavyovipenda ukishajua ukweli kila kitu kwako kitageuka utakuwa mtu tofauti na ule tunaona leo kwa sababu kitu tofauti kitaingia ndani yako na hautakuwa yule mtu tena kuokolewa ni kujua jinsi Yesu alikufa akazikwa na akafufuka kwa sababu ya dhambi zako kuokolewa ni kujua na kuelewa kwa nini Yesu Kristo ilibidi akufe amwage damu yake msalabani kuokolewa ni kujua hiyo damu ya Yesu ilikuwa na maana gani kimwajika msalabani haikuwa damu ya kawaida ilikuwa damu ambayo ilikuwa dhamana kubwa sana lakini watu wanaidharao tutasimama mbele ya Mungu na Biblia inatuambia tutasimama siku moja mbele ya Mungu na kila mtu atajibu mashtaka hata ule pasta wako ambaye amekudanganya hizo siku zote kuwa kuokolewa ni kwenda tu kwa kanisa yake hajawahi kueleza ukweli pia yeye atakuwa amepanga line moja refu pia yeye akiomba msamaha akililia Mungu kwa madhambi yake lakini wacha nikwambie ukishaokolewa yote yamepita ya kale yamekwenda na mapya yamekuja hautaweza tena kupotea kwa sababu unaokolewa mara moja tu Mungu alitupenda ndio akajitolea ye mwenyewe ili yoyote muaminie asipe bali awe na uzima wa milele na anarudi tena Mungu anasema anarudi tena akifika je atapata mtu yoyote ambaye yuko na imani Mungu akifika atapata bado we uko na imani ama atapata ushaanguka atapata we mwenyewe hata utaki mambo yake na najua uko pale unasikia Roho Mtakatifu anakuongelesha na kuambia haya maneno yanaongeleshwa ni yangu lakini wewe uko pale unajiuliza ni okoke ni okoke mimi nikae nisikae wenzangu watanifikiria vipi wacha nikwambie Yesu alisema ukinionea aibu mimi hata mimi mbele ya babangu nitakuonea aibu ile siku itafika atakwambia ondoka sikujui sijawahi kuwa na uhusiano na wewe hujawahi nipenda basi kwa nini nikupende sasa hivi ipo wakati upo wakati unakuja na wewe ndugu yangu dadangu kama unaisikia sauti sauti ya Mungu ikikuongelesha ikikwambia kwenye moyo wako leo ndio siku ya kukombolewa usikaze roho yako usikaze roho yako usikwe mgumu kwa sababu Mungu ametuita hapa kwa sababu ya upendo ambao anao kwa sababu yako si kwa sababu kuna kitu ambacho umefanya bali tuliokolewa na neema tuliokolewa kwa neema Neema inamaanisha kupokea kitu ambacho sisi wenyewe hatukufaa kukipokea. Uzima wa milele hatukufaa kuupata. Lakini sisi wenyewe tuliupokea kwa sababu Mungu alitupenda sana. Alijitolea yeye mwenyewe ili yoyote ambaye muaminie asife bali awe na uzima wa milele. Je, wewe nikulize? Umepewa bure lakini umekataa utamwambia Mungu siku siku ya kiama ikifika utamwambia Mungu nini alikupa bure lakini nikwambie huo kongo haukuja bure Yesu Kristo ilibidi ye mwenyewe apitie mambo marefu sana ili we mwenyewe kukombolewa kuteswa kupigwa kuliwa hadi amwage damu yake utoe ule uhai akwambie basi we badala wewe wende ku jahanamu mimi nipatie nipatie dhambi zako zote mimi nitadil nazo nipe hizo dhambi zako na mimi nitadil nazo na zaidi Mungu amekupenda na we bado hautaki huu upendo je utasaidika vipi utasaidika vipi
My friends, let me tell you one thing. The Bible says, it is appointed for man to die once and after that judgment. It is appointed only once to die and after that judgment. And when you die, you leave this world. How is it going to be for you? Are you going to be in a good place? Or are you going to perish with the world? God has spoken to us. He has spoken to us over and over again. Are you still lost in your sins? Jesus loves you. He doesn't care how bad you are. The Bible says that Jesus came for the lost. He didn't come for those who are alive. So if you are lost, then he came for you. There is no big sin. There is no bigger sin that God cannot be able to cleanse with his blood. There is no bigger sin that God cannot be able to cleanse. It doesn't matter what you've done. You might have been the worst person there has ever been in this world. But then God loves you. He cares for you. He shed his blood for you. So that if you believe, you will not perish but you'll have everlasting life. Let me tell you, the world is about to change. The world that you're living in is about to change. So much is coming in the next few. So much is coming. So much is coming. The Bible says the days will be so terrible that men's hearts will fail for fear of those things which are coming upon the earth. Man, men's hearts are going to fail. When you imagine what is coming, you will be afraid, you will be scared. And the Bible says some people will hide themselves in dens and in, in mountains, hiding themselves and saying, please mountains, fall on us and hide us from the face of him who is coming. The Son of Man, the Bible says he's coming. He's coming with the clouds. And only you, if only you believe, you will be able to be saved. For those who don't believe, they will not be able to be saved because Jesus came for those who will believe. And for those who are saying that I can't believe in Jesus, then woe unto you because one day you will discover that Jesus was the only one who could save you. It is Jesus who can save you, not any other prophet. No other prophet can save you. You can pray 10 times, but you will still go to hell. You can pray facing Mount Kenya, facing Iraq, facing everywhere, but you will still go to hell. Because this is only one way that you can be saved. And that way is through Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what you've been told. Maybe you're from this religion or that religion. Can I tell you, there's no religion which will take you to heaven. Not even one religion will take anyone to heaven. You can be in a thousand religions, but you will go to hell. Because Jesus did not bring religion. He brought faith. Then do you have faith in the one who created the whole universe? Do you have faith in him? Do you have faith in him? And I'm sure people are just always busy with their things. But let me tell you, the Bible says, if you don't, if you don't look upon me right now when you're still alive, when that time comes, when you breathe your last, then my friends, it will be a time for you to remember all the things. L let me tell you, there are some things that you can never forget. Those are your memories. They will be with you for all eternity. You will remember even this date when the gospel was being preached to you, but then you ignored. You will remember everything. What you are told, you will remember everything. Let me tell you, my friends, you can never forget. Can I prove to you that you can remember? The Bible tells us of the rich man and Lazarus. And the rich man in the Bible, that rich man really enjoyed his life. He lived a sumptuous life. But then, Lazarus, all that he had was God. He didn't have anything else. He didn't have any hope anywhere else. But when they both died, because the Lazarus, his only hope was in God, then he got the reward for what he had hoped for. He was in at Abraham's bosom. And the rich man, 
burning in hell was looking and saying Father Abraham can you call that Lazarus and tell him just to dip one finger in water and cool my tongue let me tell you you still have your memories he could remember Lazarus just the same way you're here you will remember me you will remember all of us and you being preached the gospel and at that moment you shall be crying weeping and shedding tears and saying for sure God I wish I had a second chance I wish I had a second chance we have seen so many people even others who have been prominent in the world even in our country of Kenya we have seen people who are prominent ministers presidents great men dying and at the end of the day did they go with anything no they went with nothing you saw when the former president Moy was he died he was being shown everywhere he didn't even have a coin in his pocket because you will live with nothing you will live with nothing and for you, all you can think is that I'm working so hard to do this and to do that but the things of God I will give them second priority let me tell you you can work all you can but you can never go with your wealth to the afterlife the only thing you will go with